In the Foundations Digital Resources, on slide 101, you will find a section with information about tapping out words or tapping out sounds. And what I would like to show you, there is lots of information, um, but how to use these slides to make a video or presentation um, with the words that you would like to tap out. So you could take, you could use any of these as a template. So here is a um, three um, letter word. Here's a word that you could use for like a digraph. Really, you would need a three sound word. Maybe that's the way I should say it, a three sound word. There's a four sound word with a consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, and here is consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant. So lots of different um, ways that you could do this. Um, however, if there's a combination you don't see here, then you can um, just ch change that with an additional box and um, change the color. And this will work for words with three or four sounds. So what you'll do is you can use this as a template. You'll just copy and make your own. So let's say I wanted to use the word sad instead of mat. You'll make a presentation of the words you want. And then what you'll want to make sure you do is you'll want to put this in present mode. And when you see this in present mode, you will just see the words. You won't actually see the the hands and as you click every time you click a finger or a hand will appear that will show the students which finger they should tap out so for example you would go s -a -d, and then your final click will have the wand for blending the word together sad so the trick to that is putting it in present mode when you record your words. So now I'm going to press escape. Um, and what I would probably do for a video is go ahead and just copy paste and create the words um, that I would um, want to use for my entire video. So then you could just click down and use each one. So for example, um, I'm going to just um, say that these are the words um, I'll use as an example that I wanted to use in my video. So I'm going to, I've prepared all of those. I'm going to click present and we'll just go through these together as if you were the student. So um, let's tap out this word. You ready? Get your hand ready. And let's tap out this word together. M, A, T, Matt. And notice how I held out that vowel sound and made it continuous. You'll want to um, get your students in the habit of holding those vowel sounds out to blend. Okay, let's do it with this word. Are you ready? Sh, A, P, Shop. Oh, and I kind of went too fast on that. Okay, let's try it again with this word. Are you ready? Get your hand up. B S T best. All right. Now I want you to try this on your own and then we will do it together to see if that is what you got. Are you ready? Try it on your own. All right, let's do it together and check to see if that is what you did. S -t -ick stick. Is that what you got? And then you would just go through this process. And what you would want to do, of course, in the first few lessons that you um, are teaching students to tap out sounds, um, you would want um, to really model that for them. And then you would want to scaffold that where you're doing that together. And then eventually you will really want them to practice um, doing that on their own and then uh, record themselves, at least with their voices, um, tapping those sounds out and blending those together so that you can hear um, that they are actually sounding out those words. Um, and you may even, you don't want to do a lot of teaching with nonsense words, but you will want to do um, assessing with nonsense words so that you know they haven't just memorized those words. They're actually taking those concepts 
and they can apply them to new words that they may come across. Um, so that's just one way that you can um, record a lesson on tapping out sounds that is pretty um, simple. You just need to remember um, to, you know, take these slides and copy them into um, a Google slide presentation the way that they are. And then um, if you will um, just type in the word that you want using this template because the animation is set up in a certain order. And um, when you click present, um, every time you click it should, um, the animation should work like this. So.